This is Talk Spicy to Me, our very first episode for our podcast. We are finally taking our text thread and bringing it laugh out loud, live and in color to your screens and radios. I am Heather in the book world. It's The Reading Mom. Basically, I'm the lover of all things Disney, of course, books, and coffee obsessed. Hey y'all, it's Jasmine in the book world. I'm Filthy Little Reader. Um, outside of books, I love all things nails. I'm obsessed with sweet tea, pens, which my collection is somewhere over there. Um, <laughs> I pretty much love everything, you know, with the exception of bugs. So I'm a lover always. <laughs> you said bugs, right? Not books? No, no, no. Bugs. Okay, it's not bugs. like bugs. No bugs. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Brianna from um, Brianna's Bookshelf. Um, I am huge on reading, love all things romance. I also read um, like fantasy and paranormal romance. Um, when I'm not reading, I'm probably playing with Goober or watching Netflix or Disney and all of that good stuff. <laughs> it's not Netflix and chill anymore, though. We're too grown for that. Yes. <laughs> Chicken and dicken. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't seen that reel on Instagram, you need to find it. It's hilarious. KFC um, is the same. So, <laughs> so basically, we are here to talk about all things books. Um, yes, we are called Talk Spicy to Me, but it's not always going to be super, super spicy. Although I do prefer, give me all the spice. Um, <laughs> but we have a scale that we'd like to kind of rate some of our books on. And... Yes, we're going to read everything from your vanilla to your holy hell Batman, hold my beer spice. So, <laughs> Brandon's going to share what our spice ratings are. Yeah, so like Heather said, um, you know, a book can have an amazing, amazing plot, and it doesn't necessar necessarily have the spice, which is okay. Um, so, our pepper rating scale that we kind of broke down is one to five peppers. So one pepper, there might not have been any steam, any spice, any sex, but the tension was there. But there was still something that, you know, made you drawn to the characters that brought their chemistry. Um, then we have the two peppers. Now this could be more intense, more steam. There's more focus though on maybe like the cutesy aspect of the relationship. So we have more of that romance building. Um, and then we have our three peppers. So this is where you're feeling the tension. You might actually have some more steamy scenes. Um, the buildup is coming. And we have just more overall that we're sensing that it's not a one or it's, or it's a two, but it's right in the middle. Then we have our four peppers. So this can be very, very steamy. It can just have so much spice. But maybe it didn't hit that level for you yet where that five is, is over the top. Our five peppers is that butterfly feeling, the knock <laughs> the off. Stop and take a moment to reflect on the scene. There's some this, pink in there. Yes, like this is going to be those scenes that live in your head rent free. Now, our peppers, they can say a lot about a book, but that doesn't necessarily take away from that plot. So we're going to read varying books. We're all going to have varying opinions, but the plot is still there and we're still enjoying our books. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it kind of reminds me of like what I just finished. I read. Hi, Goob. <laughs> this part is cute though. What are the Romans? God, Roman sounds like he's going to knock my house down. You wanted to say uh, hi. <laughs> see? <laughs> uh, I just finished an arc called Nikolai by mm -hmm. Calla Riley. And when I tell you slow burn, I was like, the tension was there. And I would honestly give it probably like three peppers. But I thought I was going to die. Yeah, I'm like, if you don't fuck this girl soon, like, good <laughs> board. And it oh, was like, no. NSFW, make sure your, your headphones are AirPods, in. AirPods, AirPods. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like 93%. And I'm like, hallelujah. Like, okay. Like, we got this. Awesome book. Awesome book. I think it comes out tomorrow. But slow burn. I was like, I'm okay. I got this. <laughs> You're gonna do similar, it. That's similar to the last read I just had by Elizabeth O. O'Rourke. I'm terrible at pronunciation, so I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's the Devil in the Deep Blue Sea. Um, it was she does slow burn so good though. And usually I'm like slow burn. I'm gonna run the other way. But hers is just it's just delicious. Like she just really makes you want it. And like 
I was like reading the book and I was like, they haven't even kissed yet. <laughs> like, wait. But it was just, it was thick. And then when like, when it popped off, I was like. Mm. I love those books when it's like, moments where you're like, oh my God, they just like smiled at each other. They just held hands. Like yes. nothing is really going down, but like, that build up. You're like, oh my God, they touched. Yes, they had that banter, me. like that back and forth. Like I'm going to one up you like. Me, I'm like, like, where's the D? What are you doing? <laughs> we go to bed. <laughs> the bathroom, the wall, find somewhere. <laughs> I'm like, I can't do this. I'm like, all right, that's nice. You're holding hands. Oh, you're making out. Oh, you got the second base. That's great. Round the bases. Let's do this. <laughs> so but see, they were trying to fight it because she dated his brother. So it had a little bit of forbidden in there. So they were trying to like fight it, but right this it was time. inevitable. So I, <laughs> like, it was good. No, no like, wait a minute. Why, why did you not share this with us before? <laughs> Goodness. Uh, what was the recent read that you had, Brie? Um, a recent spicy read or recent read? Let's see. Hmm. Recent any read. I know I'm trying to think. Oh, so. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> recent spicy read I would say would be Slasher Heart by Holly Bloom. And that comes out on February 1st. But oh my God, that was, I would say, at least five peppers. Like those certain scenes will just I live in. I need this series in my life. <laughs> it's so good though. Um, it has like everything I love in a romance book, but it had so much more because of like the spice and the build up. Mm -hmm. I mean, the cliffhanger was brutal, but. I just, I, I swear I do it to myself. Like, I just. I what really punishment. It's a love-hate relationship. I love day. clips. And I, I see so many, like, ratings and reviews where people are like, oh, my God, that cliff. And I'm like, but you know it's a series. You know it's coming. Right. And now, whether or not. Beforehand, it's, like, like... Yeah, it depends <laughs> on, is the author going to rip your heart out and step on it? Or are they kind of just going to, like, kick you off the mountain? Like, you know, it, it really depends on their yeah. genius level of hate for their readers. Right. And it's all love. It's all love, but I love it because you know that as soon as that next book comes out and you open that page and it's like, there we go. Like, the world is okay again. It's definitely a good way to leave you wanting more. It's just yes, like exactly. thinking about it and anticipating. No, exactly. That anticipation. Like, I love books that the cliffhanger leaves me wanting more for sure yeah but the cliffhangers when they're brutal i'm like okay well i don't have the next book so i'm a little bit violent right now yes. <laughs> Stabby. Stabby. Uh, <laughs> yes. um i would say that my the spiciest read that i've read so far is probably by the um eleanor aldrich the filthy crown which her next one is coming out i think it's in like three days the second one this one was dark as fuck <laughs> in the beginning I was like it is not for the the weak and the timid and if you don't have a good stomach this was not for you at least for the first like 10 pages um <laughs> but the rest of it it had some kink it was definitely forbidden because it's like her her stepfather's brother so oh, kind oh of like God. an uncle and there's that age gap where he's like twice her age so and she was 17 at the time Is that like a stunkle like what <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you would. <laughs> That's a new one. <laughs> We're gonna write that one down. That's gonna go with the the daddy braids. Oh yes, so, yes. Um, all of our kinks. <laughs> yes, all of them, all of them. But I mean, that would probably be. It was probably like mm. a four pepper for me because it definitely had the kink. It had the taboo. It had the forbidden. And when they got together, it was like fireworks. And it was literally like okay. Like, they couldn't let go of each other. And I'm like, all right. Like, we got the plot. Oh, we're just going to plot into her. Got it. Okay. So, <laughs> it was good. I loved it. I loved it. And I can't wait for the second one. So, that's exciting. Mm hmm. Yeah. All right. So, what are you guys anticipating for next month? Definitely the Bully God anthology. Like, we got Laura Lee, Becca Steele. Like, I'm just. I'm excited. I love anthologies and I usually don't end up reading them all. I kind of pick and choose. Yeah. But I'm, I'm always still excited for them. So, yeah. <laughs> that is exciting. Um, I am waiting for that one. And I'm also waiting for Megan's, uh, Megan Brandy, her book coming out. Say so You Swear. Yes. 
Yeah. So it's like a, a revisit from an old world that she had. So I am definitely excited for that one. Um, I'm excited for all of the ones you already named. Um, <laughs> but also, um, I just remembered, which is so bad. I need to like get on top of my arc schedule. But um, Casey oh. Keene has the second <laughs> book in her series or her trilogy coming out. Um, Watch Me Rise. The first book was Watch Me Fall. And I'm oh, so God. here for it because book one was for sure five peppers. But um, and when did book two stars. come out? Book two comes out the end of next, uh, the end of February. So okay, I think it's I got the time. Fifth of February. Right, right. It's like time to read the first. One. I got time to read book one. All <laughs> right, so we got this. Good. So that's something I'm looking forward to. Um, you know, reading. Uh, there's tons of books in February coming out though. Um, yeah. So I'm excited for the lineup in general. Well, for the love of balls, hopefully we got some balls in there. Definitely the D. <laughs> uh, we do have a surprise because um, we are going to talk about our first highlight book. It is The Perfect First by Maya Hughes. Our surprise is that she has actually agreed to talk with us about her book, about her other books, and uh, just her writing in general. We all really love this book. So um, it's super exciting for us to be able to, one, talk about it with each other, kind of vent rant and really get into like the nitty gritty of what we liked and then get to talk to her about it. So take away. So we're looking forward to it. Um, and we cannot wait to kind of get or pick Maya's brain and, you know, hear all that she has to say. So as far as the perfect first, for those who have not read it, it is, it's super cute. First of all, it's, um, this nerdy girl who has not done much in her life because of just how she was raised. Um, you know, ends up wanting to change that. She's in college and she just wants to kind of have her own couple of firsts that she's never had before. So one of them is that she actually writes on her to-do list that she just wants to lose her virginity. So she ends up <laughs> posting an ad on social media, <laughs> college social media, and funny enough, at the same time, the reigning football star of the college just so happens to have a meeting with somebody at that same place, same time. So it's very awkward meet, first time meet, and it's so cute. Um, I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> it was like <laughs> it was it was the best meet cute that I've read in a very long time. It was hilarious. It was. I think my favorite line is from that. And spoilers, so earmuffs if you guys don't want to hear it, but when she asks how big your penis is, <laughs> don't go into you know girth. Just the regular. Who says that? Who says well, that? You know, she had to interview him because she wants to know that she's going to be, you know, he's going to be a good first. Right. You know, though, like now that I think about it, if I had the balls to do that way back when, when I wanted to lose my virginity, I think I could have saved myself some problems. <laughs> she, didn't, she didn't, she didn't have time to waste her time. Like, write this down. I just, can I have your stats? Oh, she, was, she was so serious. And, you know, he was there for a different reason, but he was like, I guess these questions pertain to why I'm here. The and fact that he was still answering yes, them, though, like... Or even, like, like, just acknowledge it, <laughs> although him spitting in her face, epic. Like, <laughs> that was definitely the reaction that I would have that given. That take moment, like, what? <laughs> and, the, like, because I listened to the audio, so and I remember, like, being at work, and I'm like rewind like I had to rewind it because I wasn't sure that I was hearing it correctly or even thinking what was going on it like this can't be really what she said <laughs> hold on it was so so good um so as far as tropes so there are definitely those friends to lovers vibes because it, they just kind of hit it off from there and he agrees to help her with her first she has a list she has a full-on list and it is so freaking cute um and it's sports romance he's that football star that I said then we have the jock nerd vibes. Um, there is the virgin heroine, and it definitely has the rom com aspect. Mm -hmm. And definitely uh, from there, I would just say, like it's not as as simple as it you know turns out. Like there was so much more in in depth to these characters. It yeah. wasn't just like a funny book. There was so much more emotion. So much. So so good. And I liked the side characters, like how involved the side characters were. Yeah. Like I know that that's it, and like their stories too. Yes, the there are some series that like when they're interconnected, 
the side characters are really either like a couple of pieces here and there and then at the end they get their like big reveal so that you kind of know like who's going to be next but these side characters they were involved epically right. throughout the whole thing like you really fell in love with who these friends were and got to know them and get attached to them yeah so like i'm super excited for <laughs> lj's book and nix's book but lj <laughs> that poor boy yeah Poor boy. That, but... No, that's exactly it. Like, I feel like she did such a good job of captivating us from the start. Um, you know, it's it's not where, oh, it's a sports romance, so I need to know the sport. Like, it, it wasn't like that. It was, yeah. no. it was really good as far as this is a college new adult romance that they're having fun. Right. They are so involved in their own lives, but at the same time wanting to make their own their own decisions and their own independence. Yes, it was just, exactly. It was something that I could see actual college students wanting to do or wanting to accomplish in their life. Or like real life yeah. college. Like, like it was really very realistic. realistic. Feel to it, yeah. Yeah. And I so, love how he I, himself, even though he was a shock, he was like, he was a sweetheart and he was really thoughtful. And I like that. Me too. From a from a mom perspective, like I want my kids to read. Maybe not all of this book, but I mean, <laughs> the the manners, like you know, just how he was as a human being. Right. Like he wasn't an asshole. He was legitimate, like kind. Had like manners. He was a gentleman. He wanted to teach her new things. He wanted to protect her. And his first instinct when he realized that he was like she was not there for his interview but there to interview random people right. to lose her virginity to. And he stalked everybody it's, to keep them away from her. Like, right off. It's just, yeah, protective instincts, like, right off the bat. Like, he was just a great guy. And you don't find that many of them. So, I mean, he still had a realistic feel to him. But that's like every mother's dream, that they want their son to grow up and not be an asshole. Yeah, I mean, right. like... You know, they have their faults, both of them, but... Exactly, yeah. That just made it so much more re realistic and relatable. Um, yes. And that character development that was just there toward yes. the end, I felt so, like, proud of both of them. She, yes. she did an amazing character. job with that character development, like, just bringing it full circle. I loved it. I loved it. Um, I would definitely have rated it a five-star read. Um, For sure. Yep. And, but, again, like we were saying... It wasn't super spicy. I would have given it two peppers on our pepper scale. They had spice. They had buildup. They had spice. And by the time that they, really, really, Reese, by the time that Reese, you know, got his head out of his butt and was like, I actually want her. Like, I want her. It was like fireworks and this is epic and I love everybody. Um, but as far as a read goes, it was 100% a very good book. Right. No, I completely agree. I like, would say, I loved it. yep, yeah. like five star. I would agree with that. Yeah, two peppers. Yeah. Um, and like again, like what we were saying, you know, the steam doesn't necessarily need to be there where it needs to be the spiciest, right? Because it, it was just so cute. Like those moments where they're they're just themselves and they're building yes. like, exactly. their friendship. I think that was so important because certain characters, you know, if if we're reading like a one night stand book, that's a little different. The trope, mm -hmm. the friends to lovers, they need that strong connection from yeah. the start. And if we don't like that foundation of friendship is so yes. important. Exactly. And but even like like you said, Brie, the it's the little the little pieces of it. So like the pool game where, you know, in most books, when a heroine is talked about or described or even just developed as a character, like she's badass. And even though Persephone is a genius. You, you, you come into this bar, it's like a sports bar, and they have a pool table, she wants to play. And she automatically thinks like, oh, it's just lines and, you know, it's geometry, cool, whatever. And you automatically go, fuck, like, she's really gonna, like, be really good at this. She was not. Yeah. She, <laughs> she had, like, she was really book smart. And I, I remember, like, growing up, I, my, like my grams would always be like, you're really book smart, but like street smart and things like that. Like <laughs> they're two different yeah. things. Exactly. Yeah, they are. So I think like that's that's really where it came in at. She would always want to apply like her book sense to everything, but sometimes it's like well, she no. researched. Yeah. 
She's like she, 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 she researched, researched swimming. swimming. Yeah. Well, I, she researched the pool. Well, I think that that just like added to it for me because she wasn't good at something. You know, she is this brainiac, right. but the fact that she wasn't good at something just really you know, <laughs> added to that realisticness of the character. <laughs> There exactly. Like, like, you can you can be smart, but like sometimes like all those like fig- figures and data and analytics, like they don't always with help his you. Pikachu boxer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That scene was so funny. I laughed a lot during this book and yeah. I I like that. You know, like we were trying to say before. I've been really into, like, dark romance and, like, you know, just the darker end of the spectrum lately. But every now and then, like, I love a good rom-com. But you got to get those books and those scenes that literally make you laugh out loud. And if you're in a room full of people <laughs> and they just look at you like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's okay. It's, it's in the book. Like, I'm Never mind. <laughs> so I, I love those parts. No, it, it had those laugh out loud moments. And... You're right. Like I don't, I don't necessarily get that with every book I read, and it's for mm-hmm. a, for a reason. But these laugh out loud moments made me smile. Like I finished the book with such a smile on my face. I yeah. mean, I was smiling throughout, but I was just so proud of them as characters. Like I loved seeing them come into their own identity and seeing mm-hmm. who they were and how their arc just developed throughout that book. Right. Yes. Yes. One hundred percent. And I, I want to read the rest of the series. So me too. I'm kind of excited to. You know, get some of my arcs under (laughs) under control so that I can read the rest of them. So many books and not enough time. I know. Exactly. Literally. So what are you guys looking forward to uh, reading next? So next, what do I have? I'm trying to think because you know how we are with our arc life. I don't (laughs) don't think I have any more arcs for January, but I'm just going to get a head start on February. And so... I have um, Tijan's. Is it the? I need to read the first one because I the have the second arc. Yes, yeah. I have the arc for the second one, but I need to read the first one. It's good. Um, it's good. But yeah, so is it damaged? The second one is damaged. The second one is the damaged. And the outsiders. Is it? The outsiders? That's the first one. The outsiders. Okay, yeah. yeah, that's what I need to read or listen to. I hope it's an audio. Uh, I'm reading Holly Renee's new one that's coming out on the fourth um because that's ollie and frankie's book so excited yes. so excited the boys of claremont uh, bay that's um yes that's on my lineup of my arcs to be you know to read <laughs> well I, well i have that one and then immediately after that i'm reading um shani hames the heart of a painter that's the next one that i have coming yes. up so those are my immediate yes yes so that's where we're at right now. But right now, Ollie and Frankie, they have residence in my brain. So I'm excited to read that. I have, um, I'm finishing up <laughs> Twisted Hate by Anna Huang. And that comes out on the 27th. Oh, my God. So I, you keep putting stories and posts about this. And I'm so intrigued. <laughs> oh, it's, oh, it's good. It is so good. I, I need. TikToks always have me like, let me just add it. I love Anna. She's so nice. And that's how my TBR gets so freaking long because it's like, oh, what do you got to read? Excuse me. Let me just get my my phone book out (laughs) as I read you what I need to read because I just keep adding. It's not even like a phone book. I feel like I have like a video book because I save all these reels or TikToks and I'm like, this is my like video TBR. (laughs) Yes. So I started doing that too. And like, I was like screenshotting everything and then just writing it down. And then I was like, okay, wait, I have like five different, exactly. you know, so many, like I lose, I lose count. I have to like, as soon as I watch the video, I'm like, let me go at it now. Because if I save this, my squirrel brain, I'm not coming back to it. But Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And I think that now that I'm getting into audiobooks, like it's really helping me kind of like blow oh, yeah. some of the older yeah. ones out of the water. I finish like with audio, especially if you like yes. snack the deals or if they're read and listen, like that's honestly how I get through my TBR. Is through audio. I'm excited. I'm excited. Me too. So, um, we are going to have an interview with Maya Saturday soon. Soon. Saturday. Soon. 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 I don't know. We're going to talk to her. <laughs> I'm excited about it. Um, and get to really pick her brain about this. So, I think that 
we have a lot of great questions to ask her and really just trying to understand where she was when she wrote it because it's not a new book. So like, and I had never heard of it before we read it and decided to read it. So um, what are some of the other sports romances that you guys have read, like, or want to read? Oh, so many. I feel like yeah. sports romance is such a a big trope because it can include like, you know, the enemies to lovers, the friends to lovers, all those vibes. Um, but like right off the bat, I would definitely say Bella Matthews, um, Kings of Court and Hill series. It's all football. Mm -hmm. I love Bella, but um, that series is really good. It's, that's yeah, all football. <laughs> I like Allie's and, you know, I'm biased. Allie says. You know, Allie. Yes. Allie forever. I, I knew her in real life before she was famous. Um, <laughs> she's the reason that I had my second child. <laughs> but her U of J series. Um, I mean, she has a lot of different sports, but her U of J has the balls in it. And, um, it's so good. Yes. I love it. But that's one of those, again, where, you know, you have a cliffhanger. And I legit remember saying to her, like, WTF, what the hell happened? But I like that she didn't make a, she didn't torture us too long. Like, no, not like, at all. It was like, okay, I'm going to hurt you real quick. But I got. But it, the next one's coming. Coming soon. I mean, like, be tortured for two Yeah, years. I still felt so tortured, like but. <laughs> oh, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. And Liam Parker is still Big Bubba's bitch. But <laughs> I love that series. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of what else, like sports. It take it. I have to be in a really good mindset to like jump into a sports romance, uh, unless it's like one of my authors that I read everything for. Um, Jasmine, do you have any? I'm trying to think of. So I will say with sport, I read a lot of sports romance, but it's like Bree said, because it can be a sports romance with like a secret baby or it can be enemies to lovers or it can be friends to lovers. So I'm always reading like so many sports romances. Like one of my latest ones was Touchdown Baby by Tabitha Kiss, which I love her. Um, I read like everything by her, but she's actually rebranding this series she likes to tie like all of her worlds together, which I love. Like it'll be the sister, and then it's a spinoff series with the brother. So that's actually this Ooh, book. That's awesome. Um, Touchdown baby. Obviously, it has secret baby in it, which is like one thing about me. I love the babies. Secret <laughs> accident. That's your bread and butter right there. If it's a baby, I'm gonna read it. Give it to me. So it's also um, a little bit of forbidden because it's the coach's daughter. Um, but it's actually yeah, it's five stars. Honestly, all of her books usually are for me. Um, she does theme super well, like the kind where it's like you're reading it and you kind of get like tingly feelings. Like butterflies. Um, <laughs> yeah, definitely <laughs> add that. And it's two more books coming. It's two will be football and one is going to be baseball. But um, okay, yeah. oh, that's good. like um, Dirty Curve by Megan Brandy yes. was baseball. I'm trying to think of some others that I've read recently, you know. I think for me, it's it's really someone needs to recommend the the sports romance for me, or it has to be like one of my authors. Yeah. Again, just because my TBR <laughs> looks like a CVS receipt. <laughs> so, I mean, um, you know, it goes back to like so. Marin Moore, um, she also writes under the pen name R. Holmes. She has a hockey series, and Jasmine, I've told you, you would love this series. Um, it has like dads, like daddies. Um, yes. So, oh, like daddy boys. Yes. So um, <laughs> each book, like the the guy is a is somehow a dad. So whether or not it's a surprise pregnancy, or um, he is adopting his nephew, um, or he has kids, you know, and he needs a nanny. Yeah. Those kinds of things. Um, but I love it. What's really good though is like you get enough of the sport where you're not lost. Just like with Maya's book, where you're not you're not lost, you don't need to know the sport, but at the same time, you're kind of getting a little bit more insight. Like, wow, hey, this sounds cool. Like in hockey, yeah. maybe like a hat trick. Like I had no idea what a hat trick was before hockey romance. I had to Google that. Like I learned. <laughs> so for me, hat trick is like in darts when you get three darts in the bullseye. That's a hat trick. What's a hat trick in other sports? Well, in hockey, it's when you score three times. Oh, Maybe okay. It's so it's a similar the concept. Similar concept. Yeah. Because yeah, hat trick and darts is when yeah. you hit the bullseye. Yeah, I think times. it's the same thing. I mean, 
I think in Helena Hunting's um, All In series, the hat trick reference was for like a guy's sexual escapades, and he did a hat trick. So <laughs> that's another sport tournament. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to take some notes down for that. Right. Oh, yeah. Her, her Puck series is hands down one of my all-time favorite sports series. I love Puck. Pringles puck cans. Series. Pringles cans. <laughs> oh, my God. <goodness>. All right. <laughs> so, um, I guess that's it for this week. And we will definitely be back. We have some super exciting things coming. Um, more featured authors and highlighted books. And... Lots and lots of interviews, but definitely all the spice that we can talk about. Yes, so exactly. it's going to be so much fun. Um, the Buddy Reads we'll be posting about two ahead of time, so let us know if you've read that book on social media. We are on Instagram. We are on or will be on um, BookTube or YouTube. Yes. And so yes. Spicy to me with the letter two. Exactly. Yes, and any um, any recommendations that you guys have, definitely hit us up because we are open for all of them. Yeah, should we should we let them know now what our next month is the theme? Hmm. We'll sneak I think so. Yes. <laughs> oh yes, yes. <laughs> I'm all about it. So go ahead. All right. So our theme for next month is going to be. Kiss me on Mafia. Woo! Woo! <laughs> so obviously, and I know that somebody had commented saying that um, they wanted a specific author, and I had said that um, it, they were on our lineup. So let's see if they can guess who it is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. Thanks, guys, for joining. <laughs>